Yeah. Oh. Well, that won't No. What was that? What was the original question? Sorry. Cool, we are rolling. Yeah, so I'm Ben Healy. I ride for Trinity Racing, a uh, concert team in the UK. Uh, Tom Mazzoni, Simp Pro and Pro Cycling. Uh, and James Shaw, uh, I ride for Ribble World to start in 2021. Rory Townsend, Canyon DHB Stangard, 2019 Tour, Tour of Britain, Sprint Jersey winner. Uh, Pete Williams, Swift Cab and Pro Cycling. Well, really, like, I've always just been a bit of an all rounder. Like, I race aggressively and because that's just like how I enjoy racing, especially as a junior, like I do enjoy doing that sort of stuff, like just being switched on all day, like fighting into corners, fighting into like those, like Bergs in Belgium or crosswind sections. I mean, really like, m my big goal is like to be like Grand Tour contender and yeah, you, to do that, I need to like get the experience now and like, just like watch all those little things and learn from the, from the big stage races and under, under 23 so. I'd like to think I'm a bit of a sprinter but anything I suppose it's hard to specialise really in the UK and um, you've kind of got to be an all-rounder and I'd like to think I've got a fast finish in, in any situation really so yeah a bit of a, a bit of a, a sprinter. First experience of, well, of Tour of Britain was uh, Glasgow to somewhere and uh, I had to ride on the front for the whole day, and uh, Griper went and finished it off with a with a yellow jersey. It started off well for me. Um, all that, you know, it hasn't all been a, uh, all been plain sailing, but I think that stands out there as as one of the one of the greatest stages. I've had a few good rides there as well. A few days in the breakaway with, with people that are uh, uh, what's the word a level or two above me. Um, but all in all, it's been a pretty good experience. Yeah, it was a pretty frenetic year to be fair. Um, I was obviously, I was relieved more than anything to come away with the jersey in the end. I can't say that I was um, elated or anything like that. It was just pure relief to sort of get over the line and finish it really. Um, you know, having a crash and then just sort of sucking around a little bit. Obviously getting the jersey on the first day and the most competitive rider was really nice. Um, my teammate Matt getting a top 10 there as well, which was sort of the icing on the cake. And then you know, coming quite close to stage three um, in in an all-day breakaway, and and that that was probably a, like quite a special sort of day for me because it was the breakaway made up of like guys who are now my teammates in Rob Scott and Jake Scott, um, Harry Townfield, who's my teammate uh, the year previous. Um, so it was sort of a nice place to be with you know with friends. It was it was a pretty you know. Massive day out, so. Tour of Britain experience. I first did it in 2008, and uh, I think I missed, might have missed a year or two in between now and then. I've, it's been fortunate that I've got to kind of ride at a, a decent level for for so long, and um, you know, make a career out of it for a little bit. Yeah, it is one of the big races that every British rider, you know, certainly. The British base riders want to do at the end of the year. Every team kind of builds up to that. That's the, the highlight of the season, really. I remember before I even rode the Tour of Britain, I, was, I, I watched it um, go past near where I lived, maybe a couple of years before, and thought, I could do that. You know, I'm, I'm good enough to do that. And I thought that would be a good achievement. Look back and say, yeah, I've done it once. But yeah, to, to still be doing it, you know, over a decade on is, uh, yeah, I, I feel fairly fortunate. You know, you got to do your hobby as a, as a career and um, I think not being able to do it the last couple of years makes you realise how lucky you were, you know. At the start of last year, it was, it was very uncertain. A lot of, we didn't really know where it was going to go, I suppose. I did go to back to the Alaman for a period um, after being in lockdown in the UK and not being able to travel because the, the borders were closed. It's just been a matter of, of looking ahead and, and hopefully um, targeting races to come, which is, not too far away now, hopefully. And it's difficult to sort of, you know, I can't sit here and, and you know, claim that the worst thing that's ever happened, you know, like people in far worse situations. I just tried to sort of um, use use the time as, as well as I could. Like I, I really just, I carried on training really hard um, last year with the hope 
season might kick off again. And With everything stopping, sponsorship pause and all the rest of it, I've had to start juggling. Juggling life as a full-time bike rider a bit more with the real world now. So, um, yeah, I'm busy with uh, working as a physio and doing my own coaching and bike fitting business. So, yeah, it's, it's quite tricky trying to, try to balance it all. It's been strange. It's been bizarre. Um, obviously, I was fortunate enough to uh, get another pro contract with the team of uh, Rewal Readiness for 2020. And... Uh, started well got a few races in obviously then um the world went into a went on hold for a for a small period of time we unfortunately had to change uh, title sponsors and um the team then announced that it wouldn't continue for 2021 the season we're in now a lot of teams weren't really having new riders they were just rolling on their riders from from uh, the years, the year that, that they'd had. Fortunately, Ribble were on hand to uh, step in and, and, and pick me up at a rather late, rather late notice. i be honest, I think it's up there with one of the worst feelings that you have um, in general. To feel like you're not really getting the rewards out for the effort that you've put in. And it's you know, no, nobody's fault. Um, it's just the way that the sort of uh, imbalances of the, of the whole structure of it of sport itself works yeah it's an unnerving feeling and it, it does it does put you off wanting to do it and um yeah it makes you question what you're really doing and obviously it takes a lot of your uh energy away from actually riding the bike you know if you're having to uh you know concentrate your efforts elsewhere um but yeah you know wouldn't wish it on anyone really Oh yeah, that would just it would be a pretty class of affair. Like, because obviously, like being born born in Britain as well, it would be yeah, real nice. Especially if like I can hold on to this Irish journey as well. It was honestly part of the reason that I joined St. Fearing after being with Vitus last year. Um, their kind of drive to go forward and their big ambitions, especially trying to reach the Tour of Britain, um, in their first year as a professional team as well. So yeah, it's massive for the team and it's massive for myself and we'll definitely be there to put on a show. This year is not a normal looking year really. It's all going to be about building up to that to, to really show what we can do. Obviously Tour of Britain, like, it's, a, it's a bigger stage than maybe Giro, so, so like, like, my goal getting there definitely be like, to try and get on the podium. Like, I think certainly yeah, I'll be I could be capable of, of that and like, I want to race like, the top guys in the world and if I want to be competitive, like. You see all the young guys going up and being so competitive, there's no reason why I can't be there or thereabouts at all. But obviously, like, when you're young, you're, you're even more desperate to, to make it up to the next steps, you know? Like, obviously, you you want to keep progressing. I think I probably overtrained going into them because that was your big shot window. And then I was, by the time I got there, I was nailed. Yeah, I've had, had some hard days on that race. It's going to be, you know, quite a hard next few months through the summer to, to get get ourselves going again to get back in the rhythm of racing. Right, it's certainly nice being able to go out and in, a, in a proper group. There's, you know, there's really no way of replicating the sort of training that you can do um, when you're trying to like put your teammates away. <laughs> um, obviously, I've put a big winter in. It's obviously, it's been a while since I raced in a few weeks, but no, it was good to, uh, it was good to uh, turn pedals in anger again because it had been a while. You can't be a cyclist if you're not, I guess, that is so competitive now, like there's so much stuff that goes into it and like so much sacrifice, like if you don't truly want it, then I'm pretty sure you'll fall by the wayside fairly quickly, so. Hopefully Tim will rely on some past experiences and things um, and, you know, I'll be able to go there and, um, you know, try and lead the team as best as I can um, on, you know, on certain days as well as trying to sort of help the boys through it as well. But to be fair, like they, you know, a lot of them have, have been uh, being competitive before. Yeah, no, it should be interesting. I mean, like, I'd be lying if, uh, if I said I hadn't thought about, you know, what, what to do in terms of racing, but I, I still really enjoy riding my bike. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to, you know, give it, a, give it a go this summer and we'll see see where we're at with it. And then, yeah, like I said, for me, like, uh, from a personal performance point of view, obviously I want to go forward and ideally I'd like to potentially put my hands up in the air at some point through the year as well. Yeah, things have worked out. Pretty nicely, actually. I'm really looking forward to the 2021 season.